Did you know that there's a fourth trauma response or survival strategy that people don't often talk about? So the three primary ones that we know about is fight, right? We'll fight against something. There's flight, kind of running away or changing the topic. There's freeze, where you kind of just get frozen and you don't say or do much. But there's a fourth one that's called the fawn response. The fawn response essentially is a form of people pleasing and almost leaning into or engaging with someone who is toxic or unhealthy or not good for us. It's an unconscious way to um, engage and to get out of a dangerous situation. Now, sometimes it's okay to fawn temporarily, but the danger is when we turn to fawning as a long-term strategy. What happens is, is that when you know we're seeking safety in a situation that isn't safe, we'll go to people pleasing, make the other person feel good, um, because there is no way for us to be real with that other person. There's no space for us. Um, but sometimes we unconsciously take that skill into life and it impacts the rest of our relationship. So if you notice that you turn to the phone response where you are um, leaning in, you are making the other person feel good, where you can't share your real thoughts and feelings because you're afraid that the other person will judge it or shut you down, that's likely a phone response. Now, many times clients who have phone responses are people pleasers, are in relationships where the dynamic is lopsided and where they're always kind of buttering up the people around them. So if you or a loved one or a client is engaging in the phone response, educate the person about it, help them understand where it's coming from and work with them on looking at which relationships can they be themselves without needing to people please or take up so little space and fluff the other person up and how can they have more balanced relationship dynamics that are nourishing for them.